Hey guys, thought I'd um, redo this video. Um, I have a video already on how to test cam and crank sensor. I wasn't speaking on the video, I put the description on how to do it in the video description and I got a lot of negative comments, uh, a lot of hate comments. It doesn't bother me but I thought I'd redo the video just so that it's better for you guys. Um, so we got a two wire inductive cam slash crank sensor which is what a lot of cars are nowadays. Uh, so we're gonna put our meter onto DC volts. Um, it's already on millivolts, which is what we want. And if you have the bar graph on your meter, it makes it a lot easier. You can still do it without, um, but that makes it easier. So this is uh, electromagnet type setup, a bit like a relay, uh, but works in the opposite way to a relay. You've got a copper winding and a magnet. So what we're going to do is, when this is in the car, a piece of metal passes over it um, and causes it to work. But what we're going to do is we're just going to touch it against a piece of metal and we're going to watch that value go up and down and you'll see why the bar graph makes it easier. So I'm just going to touch it on and off my metal toolbox like that. See the bar graph going up and down value going up and down as I touch it against the toolbox. Basically what we're doing there is we're generating voltage off the sensor and that means the sensor is perfectly working. 